our top 15 Coldplay songs. A lot, my last time I did this, let's just say I sucked. Yeah, I'm. Tr I was trash at it. I might be so trash, but I'm not sure. Welcome to the top 15 Coldplay songs. It's not top 20. It's top 15. Let's just get right into the first one. Jagged British Rockers X and Y Square One. It's I kind of thought it is underrated and Coldplay does not play it, but a lot of people on Twitter request to ask it, and I think it's a really great song. I hope they do play in the Watts World Tour. And that's number fifteen. Here's number fourteen. Number fourteen. Coming in at number 14, we have uh, Death and All His Friends. I honestly, just thinking about it, I listened to it. No, my first time listening to it was like around 2019, I think. I just got into Coldplay. I'm like, I didn't just get into Coldplay. I just like, I, Orphans came out. I'm like, eh. Okay, yeah, it's an okay song. And then I see Death and All His Friends. I'm like, oh my god, it's really good. But I haven't got back to it since um, that time. And then I listened to it a few weeks ago. And I'm like, this sounds much better than I thought. Let's put on let's put on the list. And yeah, it is on the list. So that Viva Arrow was on fire. It was really good. Uh, his friends, it had a had a good slow piano, and then yeah, you had a guitar riff. Really good, solid. And that comes in at number fourteen. Next. Is like it's um 2005 fix you. I mean, I am so sorry, but is this a song from X and Y that really stood out? That really stood out to me. It had that amazing guitar, and then it's about being worried about the future and everything, worried about any events gonna happen in the future, and you just don't know what to do, and then you just want to talk with someone. So that's basically what the song is. I love it, like, I love it, but I love the next. 12 songs and 13 songs more. Always be waiting for you. Hey, on, well, I don't think it was in on the last list. But it went from being like an okay song to my favorite song on Parachutes. Even our video last week, go check it out if you haven't. Um, this song, it, I don't really know what to say. Other than that, it has a great beat. I just like the song. I don't have to have a reason why. I just like the song. But I like this next 11 more. Next! most recent rock album or not even rock is just ma mainly a different genre is champion of the world champion of the world like it makes a certain calm it doesn't make a calm to you it makes you feel better or more more good about yourself after something happens it just makes you feel a lot better if you're in a bet and if you're just feeling down listen to the song it has it has something good in it it has like I'm just really not sure, but my favorite song from Everyday Life. Everyday Life, their album came out three year, almost three years ago, and yeah. Next. Coming in at the first of three in a row, my list of little songs. Yes, in the comments. Which ones are next on the list? But Charlie Brown, yes, yeah, same thing. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. Chris Martin wrote this in his daughter's dollhouse, probably like in 2009, 2010. She, uh, yeah, in his daughter's dollhouse. And it grew to a great song. It has a childish theme, which I really like. And then you kind of have a uh, uh, good piano in the end. Um, I can play it if I can. I think I still, I think I still remember, but it's. And 
naman. It's like that. Good song. Good song, I'm not gonna lie. But this next one, a million miles of the song. Guess which one am I talking about in the comments? Next one. Second of the three um, Milo songs, Major Minus. God, this song, I'm not even trying to describe it. It starts, it sounds country-like for no reason. I think that I feel like I'm stupid. I'm really sorry that I said that. But, God, that that tone is just, mm, like, it, it, like, it makes, it's, it's got an angry tone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it that because I don't know what else to say about this song. Really good. I love the ending so much, especially in this live version in here. Love it so much. This one, the most, most likely pop song on the Miles Allen album. My, that's my favorite album too. Um, Hurts Like Heaven. Uh, first, the lead single, or I think, I'm not sure if it, if it even is a single, but the first song on the Milo, it, it didn't come out, it didn't come out first, the first song on the Milo track list, At, well, not the first song, it's the second one, but it's the first full-length song, like, four minutes, five minutes long, and that it started off really good, then you get this guitar riff, which, oh my god, blows my mind, yup, it does blow my mind. And Hurts Like Heaven is as one of my favorite songs of Coldplay of all time. Next! Alright, so this next one comes from the most recent album of Everyday Life. Um, I gotta say, this is my second favorite off the song. Especially because I don't know how it predicted how bad 2020 was gonna get. This song, it defines 2020. Police brutality against people, I mean, it needs to stop. They think they have power, they don't. But they, like, they can't be, they cannot be unfair. They cannot be brutal to everyone. That's what the song is mainly about. And the the strong guitar riff really shows that it, the world is just getting much worse. They filmed this music video in Ukraine. And there's war going on in Ukraine, so... That's just that's just crazy. That's a little that's a little fact. There. It's not even a fun fact. It's a fact. And the way the the ending part, the where the kids say e k l l, I mean God, like this song, it literally predicts one song. Politic. Oh gosh. Politic God, this was written. It's not. It's not like the demo. It's not the demo. This was literally written on 9/11, like after the night, like after the 9/11 attack started, and God, it just led bad things from there. Like the politic, it really speaks out. Get love, like one of those, like the last lyrics. Give me love over this. Give me love over this. The terrorist attacks happening on the U.S. Just get love over that and it's basically sad and you have to just help others gosh it, that that song it really is politics all the girls scream if you're having a good time as a kid i just love this song and right now i still love the song like i heard the song when i was and um, when I first got into Coldplay, I heard the song, like, the Light 2012 version, as soon as I got into Coldplay, and goodness, it was my favorite song back then, you know, like, five years ago, and it still is in the top five. Other than music, if the music of the series would not, did not, and I, didn't, if it did not release, this would be my second favorite song right now, because music of the series, there's three more, and you can guess which ones are there, but... This song, I always just loved it. The only reason why I love the song was because it was a rock. It like this live 2012 version, it was a rock song. That's all the reason I loved it, and I still love it just for that. Next. You think 
is 42 and not everything may always be 42 but for now let's just stick with this uh the live version of the song which the only live out version from the album is from left to right left to right and it's from left to right left to right left that's basically the song and 42 uh, it starts off with the, that slow piano that mellow piano turns into a heavy rock anthem it's not a, it's not a gay pride anthem but then it just slows down and then outros the same way an intro but yeah that's what came in at number four and the next three are music of the sphere so guess which ones they were to be honest the 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 three songs that only stand out to me the three songs that i like more than a lot of other music of the songs and it shows um humankind god it was i did not expect this song to be more than what i thought because i thought this song was just gonna be like a basic i thought it was life is beautiful this upgraded no it was this actual 80 rock ballad it was my one of my favorite songs on Music of the Spheres, but the next two on Music of the Spheres, you can probably guess them. This one, oh my god, number two on the list, number two on Music of the Spheres. God, because there's one song that is much better. People on the pride on the ISS. I like it much better than the original version. The ISS version, God, it sounds such the like, same thing as it is live. Just like it's just more recorded and there's less crowd. But God dang, that was this is a really crazy rock song in the in the gay pride thing is respect respect for Coldplay because that's the only rock song in that album. Number one, number one, the best Coldplay song, in my opinion, ever, Color Turn. This 10-minute masterpiece just made my whole summer better. I was in San Antonio when I first heard this. I was in a hotel room. I just got out of a pool. I was relaxing. All of a sudden, Coldplay, Color Turn, premiere in 10 minutes. What? the hell i did not expect it i did not expect this to change my summer as i, as I thought it would have. the music of the spheres news came out i'm like holy crap there's a song on thursday what god this stole my summer this stole my whole summer i, I like god that was just crazy i loved it and i'll update you in probably next year probably next month no, probably like next year when I update this list once again, because last time my list actually sucked. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.